Welcome back everyone. Today we are talking about red vein sorrel and regular common green sorrel or better known as bloody dock and spinach dock across the world. Now most of what I'm going to cover today applies to both of these plants. Both of them pretty much hailed from all across Europe and Asia. This was called Jamaican dock. It was thought to have originated from Jamaica but I couldn't find any information 100% nailing that down as a fact. So it basically just came from across Europe and Asia and grew through the grasslands. Both of these grew common as just a perennial weed. Now this is a zone four through eight perennial and it is a very hardy growing plant. It will grow in the shade, it will grow in full light and it got its name sour herb from the French saying surle and the German word sur meaning sour because this herb is absolutely sour but it's not so sour that we can't eat it it's very delicious actually it is used in many many dishes and can be pureed and the entire plant can be eaten and it has great benefits for our body this sorrel acts as a detoxifier and as a diuretic it helps clean out your urinary tract and your kidney and when you steep it in tea it helps with inflammation and urinary tract infections and sorrel is so beneficial to us because it is high in vitamin A and very high in vitamin C and it has iron and manganese in it also and it has a little less of niacin and folic acid which helps it to antioxidize us also and sorrel is linked to lowering your blood pressure if you have high blood pressure it is linked to lowering that down naturally as opposed to taking medicine now it's not only a medicine we use it as a foodscaping plant and it is beautiful we have all of this red sorrel or bloody dock and it grows from rhizomes it is a beautiful plant we've got our regular sorrel here and it also grows from rhizomes both of them are sour both of them are a little bit different but they both contain mostly the same stuff and they're both very beneficial but aside from the medicinal properties it is very good to eat you can put it in many dishes cooked or you can just put it in a salad it is edible either way and you can eat it raw to give you an example you kind of use it like a basil or like a cilantro or parsley you kind of just cut it up and mix it in with whatever dish you want and it boosts that up in vitamins and nutrients and being that it has a sour taste, we use it with our fish or our eggs when we cook them, kind of like we would use a lemon basil. Now these sorrels are super beneficial as microgreens, and a lot of people grow them as microgreens, but people don't like to grow them because they take so long to sprout. These could take up to 30 days as to where it's half the time when you're growing other microgreens. So this is a less common use, but people still do it, and they are super beneficial for you, being that they have all of those nutrients and vitamins packed into them and eating all of those super nutritious sprouts and microgreens is even more beneficial for you than the actual plant itself. Now the cautions of sorrel, there really wasn't many when I was doing research on this. All I could really find is that in super massive quantities, like you would have to make your diet only consist of sorrel in order to over toxify yourself and cause any type of damage to yourself. So I don't think anybody has any concerns with eating it. The only thing I could really find was that if you already have kidney stones, sorrel's not the best in large quantities, but you can still eat it in small quantities and you will be just fine. So I just wanted to catalog these two sorrels for all of my customers and anybody who's interested in just researching them themselves so everybody has access to that information. I did a little bit of research. I just try and make these videos short and sweet, but I try and touch on all the main facts and all of the benefits and some cautions if there is some. Thank you for watching.